Hey, this is Crystal. Hey, Crystal. Uh, this is Sensei Doug. I, I run the uh, martial arts store right by you. Hi. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm good. How you doing? Oh, that's good. <laughs> Business doing pretty good and all that? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, really good. <laughs> that's good, yeah. Thanks for asking. Oh, sure. No problem. Hey, listen. Uh, do you think maybe you could stop fucking looking at me like that every time I come in? Because, like, every time I come in, you're just looking at me like that. And just stop looking at me. I'm tired of you looking at me. Give me those snake eyes. What? Give me those fucking snake eyes and just looking at me. Just stop looking at me. Are you joking right no, now? Not, not at all. I am sick of it. I'm a sensei. My name is Sensei Doug. I, don't, I shouldn't have to put up with this. I'm just trying to do my job, go to work. And every time I come in, you're looking at me. Okay, this L- is a joke. <laughs> I, I, no, no, l- no, I am not. I don't know what you're talking about. I really don't. Yeah, first time I seen you was when I first started here three months ago. I haven't seen you since, so no, I have no idea what you're talking well, about. Is, is it the, the owner then? Because one of one of you females in there are just looking at me. Like I come in, I have to walk around all that shit you put out on the sidewalk, all those strollers and toys and shit. It looks like my ex wife's backyard or something. Okay, well this this call is, is is a very harassing call, and I could call the cops on you for calling me, cursing me out like this. I, I'll I call the cops. I'll about. call the cops and tell okay. them you've been looking at me, and I feel threatened every time I come to my own work. Okay, well it, thank you so much. And your lazy eyes freaking me out. And she's gone. One more time. Nobody hangs up on Sensei Doug. Hello? Hi. Hi, sorry about that, baby. Oh, hey, it's Sensei Doug again. I got hung up on by that girl that's always giving me the snake eye whenever I come to work. Oh? Yeah, listen, I talked to the building manager. I talked to the owner of this building, and he says you can't keep all your shit out on the sidewalk. Because I almost trip over it every time I get here. I have to walk around. It's, it's a sidewalk. It's, it's, it's not a fucking display window. It's a sidewalk. This is Sensei Doug from upstairs. Okay. And, and 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 it's a sidewalk. Do you know what a sidewalk is? The purpose of a sidewalk is so you can walk on it. Are you talking about our clearance rack in front of our store? All the shit in front of the store. You always have strollers out there. It looks like a goddamn garage sale. You have strollers and toys. Is there a reason you're cursing shit. at me? Because every time I come to work, you guys are looking at me. You're just looking at me. Stop looking at me like that. Who's looking give, at give, you? Give me the fucking snake eye every time I come to work. I shouldn't have to feel threatened just to come into work, you know? Is this a joke? No, no, I'm sick of I'm sick of all this shit. I'm like all this time I've been having to walk around all that crap in the sidewalk. It, it's it's like How do you why do you even park in front of our store? What are you having to walk around? I don't understand. I come in front of the store all the time and you guys know that cuz you always look at me. I mean, guess what? The dumpster's in back. If you want to throw all your crap away, throw in the dumpster. Just don't leave it on the sidewalk. We don't leave anything on the sidewalk. So, I don't. we put stuff out for display that's for sale. If you have a problem with it, I guess you can take it up with the property manager. I have. Don't call me cursing at me. He, he told me. He said, he said, I'll talk to them. I'll get them to stop leaving shit all over the okay, sidewalk. Okay, that's great. Then he can call and talk to us. Makes Otherwise, it, I guess you should just open your eyes and watch where you walk. Makes I mean, it look like a bunch of hobos live here. This is the most ridiculous phone call I've ever received. Nobody's giving you snake eyes. You think we stand in front of the store and wait for you to walk by every no, day? No, I can see you from inside. I don't inside. even know who you are or what you look like. Are you crazy? You can see you from inside. Side, you're all judging me and like just looking at me. Oh, and judging you? How do you see us from inside? You think we're sitting there watching you? No, I waiting can see for you. you. I have ninja eyes. You I'm, I'm sensei, sensei fucking Doug. Okay, fucking Doug. Have a good oh, day. Oh, you're gonna curse at me now. You're gonna curse at me now. Well, it's okay for a day to bring some calls like PLA. Those guys are pretty rad. Just pick up the phone. Listen for a dial tone And have a good laugh at your path Having fun at their expense Well it makes a lot of sense Exploiting follies of human nature I'm not talking about glory holes Just talking about people's souls Oh man, those cacti are bad Well it's okay for day Don't prank some calls on PLA Those guys aren't pretty Brad, led by Brad, just pick up the phone, listen for a dial tone, and have a good laugh at your path. 
Having fun at their expense Well it makes a lot of sense Exploiting follies of human nature I'm not talking about glory or just talking about people's souls No man, those cacti are bad Charging stupid bitch fees instead of giving books for free That Patterson guy's a real winner Leaving pipes in people's cars and killing lawns of neighbors' yards While calling to interrupt their dinner Twitter and Comcast complainers always getting calls from strangers Asking for their first and last names Getting them all riled up and told those kids shut the fuck up Roy Bell knows how to make it insane Hey there, welcome to the Snowplow Show for July 24th, 2017. This is the 383rd episode of the Snowplow Show, and it's brought to you by Hendrick G. Thank you, Hendrick G., for being a supporter on the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. So that intro song you heard, I'm not sure if I've played that before. It's by a guy named Pillow Man, and he sent it to me in September of 2016, and he says, Hey, buddy, I'm not your buddy, pal. But I liked your prank so much over the past year that I've listened that I figured I'd write a song about it. And he just goes on and on and on. And he says he sent it before, but I never responded to him. And, you know, I had the whole FBI raid thing happen shortly after he sent this. So maybe it never got played. Maybe it did. I remember the name of his band. It's called Pillow Man and the Box Cutters. And you can find their music at pillowmanandtheboxcutters.bandcamp.com. And he tells me to keep on keeping on and stuff like that. So thank you, Pillow Man, for sending this song in. And I'm sorry if I really took a year to play it. I may have played this, you know, a year ago, but I don't remember. I kind of lost track of all the stuff you guys sent me after all the craziness last year. But I'm slowly getting it all back together. I found quite a few submissions that people have sent me that I kind of forgot about. So, you know those changes I made to snowplowshow.com, and it's all forwarded to phonelosers.com now. And I looked on my podcast app, and I noticed it caused a bunch of double entries on the feed that used to be located at snowplowshow.com. It was broken for a few days. That was my fault. Sorry. But now it's fixed again, and both feeds should work. So, if you noticed a bunch of weirdness with your feed, that's why. And also, remember I said I had all the archives up, and they were all done? Finally, after all this time, well, I noticed that I completely forgot to do 2015. Like, I guess the 2015 RSS feed, that's all done, but the 2015 archive page is not done. Or it wasn't. I did about half of it. I still have to do the last half of it. Stupid, stupid me. I'll try and get that done this week. I won't take, you know, three years to do it this time. But if you are interested in hearing old episodes of the Snowplow Show, this can be done by going to phonelosers.com slash snowplowshow. And there's an archive link, and hopefully that'll work and everything if you go to that. Except for 2015. I guess that's all the announcements I have today. So let's get on with the business of telling people about their snake eyes. Thank you for calling Dollar Tree. Jenny speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Jenny. Yes. Hey there. It's it's Sensei Doug. I work over here at the Sonic, you know, across uh-huh. from me. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm pretty good. Is it hot enough for you? (laughs) I sure is. (laughs) Yep. Can I help you with something? Oh, um, I was just wondering, like, you know, when you come into work and, and you're like walking up to the to the store and you're just kind of always looking over here at Sonic, you're just looking at us. And, and giving us those snake eyes and stuff. Like, do you think you could just cut that out? Would you like me to call the police? Well, no, of course not. I, I was just asking, could you please not look at us like that? Because we're, we're just trying to do our job here. We don't well, want to. Any... Could you please not call here again? Well, just stop looking at us then, okay? <sighs> All right, whatever. Just for that, I'm going to be Ginny when I call Sonic. We'll see how she likes that. Wait, no, I can't be Ginny because I'm Sensei fucking Doug. How am I going to be Jenny? It's a great day today. Sonic, this is Kevin. How may I help you? Hey, Kevin. Uh, this is Sensei Doug over at the Dollar Tree. Uh-huh. And, um, you, you, like, um, you, you know how, like, when you come in to, the, to work and you're just kind of always looking over here? Uh-huh. Like, like, you're always just looking, looking at me and the other employees and just eyeing us? Um, do you think you could cut that out? Because it's, it's kind of creeping us out, and we're, we're, just try- we're just here to work, you know? We don't want any trouble. 
We can't really look inside of your building, though. I know, but, like, you know, we're always over there at the side smoking and stuff. And I don't know. Do you guys have a problem with people smoking? Uh, I'll let you talk to my manager. Oh, no, no. You can handle it. You can do it. It's okay, Kevin. You, you got this. Oh, okay, I guess he doesn't. Oh, there we go. I just turned on satellite view on Google Maps. I can see what he's saying now. Sonic is pretty much completely behind Dollar Tree. But there's parking over there, over there in the back. And whenever I'm over there in my car, you know, smoking a joint, he's looking at me. Hello, oh. this is Tracy. How may I help you? Oh, hey there, Tracy. Uh, this is Sensei Doug over at Dollar Tree. I can barely hear you. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. What was that? It's okay. This is Sensei Doug over at the Dollar Tree. Can you hear me? Yes. And um, Yeah, I can. I can barely hear you. But. Okay. Well, it just seems like you and Kevin mostly, like, um, whenever you're you're driving over to work, you're, you're just kind of looking at us. Like me and the other employees, you're just kind of looking at us. And can you please just... Okay, first of all, I don't even drive to work. I walk to work, and I can't even see over there when I get to work. I and know. if we're really going to be that petty, then you guys are staring at us, noticing that they're looking at you. We're, Nobody here even drives. So no, we never I look. hope you need, to do, you need to get something better going on with your life than to worry about who's staring at you. Okay? Well, I'm trying you. to do my job over here. <laughs> Whoa. She took the whole thing very personally. So uh, it looks like next we have a Marathon gas station, which is... I don't know, Caddy Corner from Dollar Tree and right across the road from Sonic. Oh, and then there's a Verizon store in the same parking lot as the gas station. And it is like right there. It's like in the gas station parking lot, totally within looking distance. Oh, and there's a Great Clips. This is going to be The awesome. number you have reached has been disconnected. What? For directory assistance, you may call 411. Come on. Or your directory assistance. How, how is the gas station, like, how's their number been changed? That's the number that Google has. Okay, let's try the Verizon store. Thank you for calling Verizon. Para Español, la primera estrella. The iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus in product red, along with the new iPad 9.7 inch and new iPhone <sighs> SE, are now available. For the latest details, please ask your store representative or visit verizonwireless.com or my Verizon Give on your hands. Choices. Headset. Thank you. This call may be recorded. That's nice. To hear our store hours and address, press 1. Technical support on your device, 2. To purchase a device or service, 3. For billing and all other questions, 4. To hear this menu again, right. 7. I think it's 3. To further assist you, your call is being transferred. Oh. Please hold while we connect your... All right, yeah, I have this problem getting through to Verizon stores. I don't know what the option is to not get transferred to the toll-free number. By the way, if you ever want to call Verizon Wireless and you want your number to not show up on their caller ID displays, then just call a Verizon store. So I'm, I'm just going to call Great Clips, I guess. Thanks for calling Great Clips. Hold on, I'm checking. No, I'm going to help you. Oh, hey, who's this? Kelsey. Oh, hey, Kelsey. It's uh, Dave over at the, the gas station. Hey. It's, it's Sensei Doug at the gas station. Dave's my manager. Okay. And um, I, I was just wondering, do you think you could stop looking at us? Like, like it seems like when you don't have any customers in there, you guys are all just standing, sitting over there, just looking, looking out the windows <laughs> at us. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, I'm not kidding around. You need to, you know, we're tr we're over here trying to do a job, and you guys are just looking at us. Uh huh. So c <laughs> could you stop, please? Are you getting a haircut? Uh, no, absolutely not. Not from someone that's just gonna sit over there and look at me. Oh my. Well, I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, can you blame me? Nope. So do you think... All right. Well, I got to sign people in. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Like in between looking at us and cutting <laughs> hair, you're going to sign people in, right? Okay, fine. If, if you're not going to stop, then I don't know. Maybe we'll just look at you. Whatever. Bye. Okay. You look at us. Okay, we will. We're going to look at you all day. I got to go. See how you like it. See how you feel. <laughs> Give you guys snake eyes. Now, see, that was a normal response. That's how somebody should respond when I call them up with something stupid like this. This show would just totally suck if everyone acted sensibly like that person. Lemonade, may I help you? Hi, uh, this is Sensei Doug over at the Marathon gas station. Yeah? I, I was just wondering, do you think, like, when you're driving to work and, you know, you're passing by the gas station, can you just stop looking at us like that? Just quit looking at us? Huh? 
Like whenever you drive by the gas station, um, you're, you're just always like looking over at us. You're just looking, like me and the other employees. We're we're, we're doing our jobs over here, and you're just you're just looking. You're just looking over here all the time. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, don't curse at me, ma'am. I'm a Christian. I'm just asking you to please stop looking. Uh, stop looking here and giving us, giving us. Well, giving you us must those. be hot then. That's why I'm looking at it. You think? Oh no, no, absolutely not. I am not a pretty person to look at. So it's not that. Uh. I, I doubt it's. I doubt it's Chad. You, you need to just stop making excuses and, and quit looking at us like that. Quit giving us oh, those snake okay. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> She hung up and laughed her. That was great. And I guess that's all I can call in this shopping center. I mean, there's a big Walmart and there's a Lowe's Home Improvement, but those are no good. Those those stores are too big. And holy crap, look at this. This Walmart is just covered in solar cells. That's pretty cool. You don't see that too often. The entire roof is just covered in solar cells. It's like they're living in the future. So I don't know. Let me look up another Dollar Tree. I can't remember if I mentioned this at the beginning, but I'm just searching for Dollar Trees because those are always in shopping centers. And they're always surrounded by other businesses like this one. Here's a Dollar Tree, a Great Clips, and a Shell gas station. Oh, and here's more stuff across the street. This will be perfect. Let's start with Great Clips. Thank you for calling. It's Great Clips. This is Cheyenne. How may I help you? Hey, Cheyenne, this is uh, Sensei Doug over at the, the gas station across from you. Cheyenne? Hello? Hi, Cheyenne. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you now. Oh, that's great. Hey, I'm calling from the gas station across from you. You know? Okay. And I was wondering, like, uh, our employees here, like me and the other employees, we just, we noticed that you guys are always looking over here while we're trying to, you know, do our job and pump gas and stuff. Can you just stop looking at us and giving us snake eyes and all that? Absolutely. Okay. I mean, that that'd be great. I mean, I know you guys aren't very busy because it's not a very good business. But I mean, can't you just like I don't know, find something to do, like sweep the floors, or I don't know, just do something besides looking at us all the time. Oh, okay. Um, sorry about that. It's okay. We we forgive you. I know you're just probably bored over there because not very busy. But you know, we got lots to do over here and. We don't have time to be looked at all day. Okay. It makes, it, it makes us very uncomfortable. We don't try to stare over there, but I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. Hey, could I talk to every other employee there, too, and just let them know not to look at us? All right. Okay, yeah, put the next one on, please. All righty. Thank you. Bye. No, 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 no not bye. <laughs> not, I'm... <laughs> Damn it. I just wanted to make sure my message was heard and it was being taken seriously. Brooklyn Dollar Tree, this is Maggie. How can I help you? Hey, Maggie. Uh, this is um, Sensei Doug over at the gas station across from you. This is, uh, you guys are what? what? Uh, my name is Sensei Doug. I'm at the gas station next door. You know, like oh, okay. right next door, the, the Shell station. Yeah. And hey, I was wondering, do you think maybe, um, you know, like when you're driving into work and you're pulling in and... Do you think you could just stop looking at us like that? G- giving us those snake eyes? It's weird. Hello? Maggie? Maggie, hello? Can you hear me? Hello? I hear you breathing. Maggie? Maggie? Oh, okay. I guess Maggie's not interested in working things out, so let's call this uh, wine shop that's right across the street from her. Wine. Hi there. Uh, this is Sensei Doug over at the Dollar Tree. You know, across, the, across the street? Mm-hmm. Hey, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Pretty good. Not too bad. Just Just hanging in there, taking it one day at a time. It's the dude from the Dollar Tree? Oh. Well, yeah, what? what can I do for you? What's that guy saying about me? <laughs> I told him it was the guy from the Dollar Tree and Derek said, what, tell him, so what's up? Oh, yeah. No, Derek is actually the one. I, I, I don't want to talk to him really, but um, like it just seems like, like um, I don't know, when he comes to work in the morning, he always like 
you know, before he walks in, he just kind of looks over at us and looks at us. Mm-hmm. He's just kind of like giving us snake eyes. Do you think you could ask Derek to cut it out, please? Okay. Like, and, and I know it's not just him. It's all of you. Okay. And um, I don't know. Can, can, you da- can you guys just stop giving us those snake eyes all the time? Because we're just trying to do our job here. Okay. Okay. And I'll, I'll, t- I'll tell Derek, too, I guess. Go ahead and put him on. Fine. Since you're not reacting at all. Such a boring call. Hello. Hey, Derek. Yeah, what's up? Hey there. It's Sensei Doug from the Dollar Tree. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, not much. Um, do you think you could just stop looking at us every time you come to work? And like when you come out during work, you're always just standing there looking at us. And Can you just please, please stop? For real? Yeah, yeah. I mean... I mean, I, I, mean, I, I know just stare off smoking a cigarette. I don't, I don't have anything against you. What makes you guys so special for me yeah, to want yeah, to sit but, there and look at you guys? But you're always giving us snake eyes. I and mean, I don't know why you look at us. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's just weird. And can you please cut it out? <sighs> Suck my dick, bud. What? <laughs> what? That was not professional at all. That was a wine store of some sort. I think like a distributor Ooh. or something. And you know what's weird? I noticed this while I was uh, looking at the maps. Google is now like on the aerial view of the cars. Their software is now taking the cars out of the aerial photo. Like the ones on the road anyway. Like there's this uh, uh, auto wrecking yard right next to the Dollar Tree. And it looks like most of their cars are there. But some of them are just half there. Like they've been erased. And it's not because it's just a half of a car. It's really digitally erased. And two or three of the cars at the this wine store, they're, they're sort of partially erased, but others aren't. But definitely all the ones on the road, or almost all of the ones, sometimes it doesn't erase them properly, and they're just kind of like a ghost car. Like, you can just see little pieces of them, and there's all these weird smudges across the road. It's very strange. I didn't know they did this. Have they always done this? I should call up Google right now. Tell them to stop looking at me. Oh, here we go. This looks like this might be a motorcycle shop. I should say I'm Sensei Derek over at the wine store. <laughs> Tell him suck my dick. And I guess we we'll... our normal business. Yep. No answer on that one. Google does say that they're closing soon. So let's move on to the next Dollar Tree, which has a Texas Roadhouse across from it, and a supplement store, an athletic store, and uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Hi, uh, this is Sensei Doug over at the Texas Roadhouse, you know, across uh-huh. from you. Yes. And, um, hey, I was wondering, do you think you guys could stop looking at us all the time? Start what? Can you please stop looking at us all the time? Like, like you know, we're, we're, uh, we're out there, like, taking our smoke break and stuff out, out by the side, and you guys are just all over there looking at us. Like, we're all in the store here. <laughs> I, I know, but you're like, you're inside those windows and you're all just like standing there staring at us, just looking at us and giving us snake eyes. Um, I think you're confusing somebody else. Yeah, we're all busy in my, the warehouse right now. The warehouse? Yeah, I'm, we're on our truck right now. And my catchers are like ringing. I don't know who you're talking. Oh, no, no, I don't mean like right now exactly. I just mean in general, like you guys are always just looking at us and giving us snake eyes. Like, like, okay, well, I'll make sure I mention myself not to look at you guys. Okay, but it's <laughs> especially you. I think it's you. Aren't you the ringleader? Like, you're the main person that's looking? Uh, sir, I don't know what you're talking about here. Well, it's just like, um, yeah. I don't know. I'm, when I'm way too busy to be giving anybody the evil eye. I mean, that, that's... Snake eyes. Snake eye, whatever you call it, but yeah, yeah. if... If that's if that's what you're calling about, I'll make sure you know that won't happen. Yeah, it's it's just that I'm a sensei, and you know everyone over here respects me, and and when you're over there just looking at me and giving me snake eyes, it makes everyone lose respect okay, for sir, me. Okay, okay, that's fine. I, I so, I'll, I'll make sure. Okay, okay. I go back to doing what I got to do okay. here. Okay, because to be honest, it's kind of scary. It's like you're gonna come over here and fight with us, and we don't want any trouble. We're we're just we're just taking a smoke break. That's all. That's fine. Take your smoke break. Enjoy. We've got work to okay. do. We've got work right. to do. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay, well, just stop. <sighs> All right, whatever. I'm going to uh, just move on to another shopping center, I guess, because I've called up pretty much everyone around this one, and nobody's really picking up. I don't know what's going on. I'm calling people in my own time zone now, so I think they'll be around. Oh, here we go. Here's the Dollar Tree next to an auto parts store, and pretty much nothing else. Just an auto parts store. I mean, nothing I can call, really. Hello? 
Thank you for calling Dollar Trees. Jennifer, how can I help you? Hey, Jennifer. This is Sensei Doug over at the auto parts place next door. Hi, how are you? Not too bad. How are you doing today? Pretty good. What's that's, going on? That's good to hear. Hey, I was just wondering, it seems like every time you come to work, like, um, you're, you're always just kind of looking at us, like looking through the windows and, and staring at us and... Like, I don't know, are, are you wanting us to come out or something, or? I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Yeah, like, every time you come in, you're you're just, like, looking at us, like, looking through the windows and just, just staring, like you've got a problem, giving us snake eyes. <laughs> this is Napa? Yeah, yeah, next door. And, you know, we're, we're, we're just trying to do our job here. I, I don't, I mean, like, is there a problem or something? I don't know that I'm staring at you. Uh, how, maybe you're just like n- not realizing you're doing it, but like every time you you drive by or you walk by, you're just staring at us. I never walk by your store, hon. Well, I'm, I'm I only walk by when I go in. Right, that's what I mean. But I only go in maybe once a month or twice a month. Why do you only work that much? Are you lazy? Who is this? Uh, this is Sensei Doug from Napa. Let me come over and talk to you. I'll be right there. Wait, what for? No, we we don't no, want we... you. What? Hey. Uh oh. Let's let's call up Napa real quick. Thanks for calling Napa. Jeff, how can I help? Oh, hey Jeff. This is Sensei Doug from the corporate office with Napa. Yeah. And uh, we've just been getting some uh, uh, a couple reports that um, you guys are just like looking at people, like they're in the shopping center, like other employees at other stores and stuff. And We're doing what? Uh, just, just looking. Like every time they walk by or drive by, you guys are just like looking, like through the windows, giving people no. The snake windows eyes. are at the opposite end of the store. Yeah, yeah, but they, they're just saying like you guys are by the windows and you're just kind of looking at people. No, like, like people. I, I don't know what they're talking about. People like next door at the stores and across in the shopping center. I have it, no idea why someone would say that. Well, and we're not a corporate store anyway. We're a. a franchise oh i know that i know that it's just uh, it's yeah. the, it's the napa name and we can't have people just looking oh, I understand at everyone that. no 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 problem but uh i'm just i'm surprised i mean i've been here i started at eight o'clock this morning i've been here all day and you literally can't stand at the windows you can stand at the very front door but our front windows are covered with a battery rack and some posters well yeah but the, you know, the, the door has windows yeah yeah but yeah, i'm they're... saying there's, there's been nobody standing up there looking at anybody oh can you can you check with the other employees have they been looking at people no, they. Ha- I, I've been. I've been here all day, and uh, with everybody, we're all behind the counter. Oh, are you up the in front right now? No, I'm at back at the counter. Oh, uh, is there any way you could just ask the other employees? Just say, "Hey, have you sure, guys been on, looking at sure. anyone?" Hold on. Or, or you could put them on the phone with me. You should bring the phone with you. With a guy named Doug, who accused me of staring at this in this. Was the guy's name Doug that complained to you? Ah, uh, you know, the, it's lady been, that, the, the lady next door, uh, who's the manager of the dollar store next door, happens to be in here. Oh. And she just overheard me, and she said what she just do? got a call from a guy named Doug complaining that her employees were staring at him in the parking lot. Oh, that's, oh yeah, yeah, that's probably... So you, that, that you, you've sound, got a nutcase on your hands. Oh, I, I don't think so, because it's multiple stores, uh, the, like a family market over on the corner, and then the, the yeah. dollar market. Yeah, yeah, just because you know their name yeah. doesn't mean you can look at them like that. What? He says every time I, I park, I stare at them. Do I have no. a problem with them? No, no. I, I, I I'm, look, I'm sorry. Is, I, I really have to disagree with whoever's, okay. whoever's telling you this has, has got a marble loose. Well, that lady that's in there right now, is, is she by chance looking at you right now? Yeah, she's standing at the counter looking at me right now. There I'm you go. There she you go. Is she doing the, the snake eyes thing? I, I think she's just no. trying to be more intimidating. She's coming in there now and looking. Are you? What's your name? Oh, wait, I got that backwards. My name is Sensei Doug. I'm from the corporate office with Napa. You know, why Why would you call the lady at the dollar store and ask her if she's... Your name's not Sensei Doug. No, I, I'm from the what's corporate your, office. What's your, what's, your phone, what's your phone number? Uh, it's on your caller ID. It's uh, 420-6969. No, what's, what's your phone number? I'll call you back. Well, yeah, just call back the number in your caller ID. It's right there. No, four, four, give me your phone number. It, like, why, don't you have caller ID? It's 2017. Hey, listen, listen, pal. I got no time to put up with your bullshit. Okay, You're well, not listen. Corporate Napa. L- You're a nutcase. Listen here, buddy. I'm, calling these I'm not your pal. Give me any crap. Hey, hey, don't use the crap word on my phone. Well, there we go. I just made the lady at Dollar Tree and the guy at Napa. They're going to be best friends now. 
they're going to be smiling and waving at each other, and she's going to jokingly put her hands over her eyes when she passes by so she doesn't look at them. And it's all thanks to me. And wow, I really fucked that up. I, was, I had the wrong person looking. I was saying she was looking at them when they're the ones looking at her. What a mess. Margaret, how may I help you? Hey there. Uh, hey, this is um, Sensei Doug over at the over at the Dollar Tree next door. Mm-hmm. And hey, I was wondering, um, are those people over at Napa, are they looking at you guys too when you drive by? Huh? Are, are they looking at you guys whenever you drive by? Or are they just looking? Like, like they're just looking, like just staring and giving you snake eyes? Because they do that to us all the time. Are they doing that to you? Uh, the Napa? Like the one down, like past you guys? Yeah, yeah, just to the right next door to us. Like every time we go by, they're just looking at us and staring at uh, us, giving us snake eyes. <laughs> I don't think so. I haven't been paying attention, but uh, yeah, I hope not. Okay, well, yeah, we'll be out there like taking a cigarette break and they come out and they just look at us. They drive by and look at us. They're just looking like, uh, you know? That's no good. But they don't do that to you? Well, I mean, we, we pull right, so we don't really go by them. I see. Well, I suggest you keep doing that, because they're just looking at everyone. They're giving everyone snake eyes, and, and we didn't even do anything to them. Right. Yeah. Hey, can you tell that guy in the background to shut the fuck up? Tell him you're on the phone. I mean, like, point hmm? to your phone. Be like, I'm on the phone, pal. <laughs> don't you see I'm on the phone? Hello? Yeah. You, you, there's no response to that? Well, I mean, I don't know what we can do about it. Uh, no, I mean the guy. Have you tried the, talking the, to them? The really rude person. Ah, uh, no, no, because they're just looking at me. I feel intimidated. And, and it feels mm-hmm. really, uh, it doesn't feel good to be intimidated because I'm a sensei. Ah. And it's not cool. They're, they're just looking at me all the time. Uh, can you put that customer on yeah. the phone? Put it, just put him on the phone. I'm going to talk to him. What? I, I want to talk to that customer. He, he's being rude. Just put him on real quick. He's gone. Uh, fuck. Okay. All right. Well, I was just calling to see if they were looking at you, too, because they look at us all the time, and they give us snake eyes. Huh. That's not good. I know. Uh, I know. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you're if in. You don't want to talk to him. I don't know. Maybe you're in cahoots with him, and that's why you're not admitting that they're looking at you. Maybe you're looking at everyone too. <laughs> I don't think that that's uh, the case. <laughs> okay, just 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 a thought. Just thinking out loud. No, no, you're you're free to do that. Yep. I know. <clears throat> All right. Well, have a good day. All right. You too. All right, bye. Goodbye. Okay, on to our next Dollar Tree. This one's in a shopping center with a vape store, a GameStop. A hair salon, a cosmetics store, and various other things it looks like. Let's start with the Dollar Tree. Thank you for calling Dollar Tree. This is Lynn. Can I help you? Hey, Lynn. Uh, This is Sensei Doug over at the vape store. Can I help you today? Hello? You want to take this, Robert? Do you want me to take it? If you don't mind, go right ahead. Thank Thank you, Robert. Thanks, Robert. Okay, who is this? Oh, hey, it's uh, Sensei Doug over at the vape store. You yeah. know, just just a little ways down. Yeah. And um, um, the here's the thing. It's I feel weird saying this, but it just seems like every time you drive by, you're just looking at us all the time. Excuse me. Like like whenever you drive by, you know, like you're you're going to work, you're pulling in, and you're just you just you pull by the vape store, and you're always just looking in the window at us, just looking at us. Um, sorry, that would not be me. Oh no, it's definitely you. We, I, I, I shop there all the time. I, I know which person you are. Oh, I'm sorry. That's definitely not me. My name is Lynn. I'm one of the managers. Yeah, yeah. I know you. I know Robert. I'm, I'm. I go in there okay, all the time. What vehicle just, do I drive then? Uh, I'm not really into cars. I'm more of a sensei. Okay, well, walk around I on my apologize. ninja legs. I'm sorry if uh, coming to work in my vehicle bothers you, but I don't drive that that side. Yeah, huh? Because like every come right into the parking lot. Oh, come in and we can have a meeting about this in the office. Oh no, 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 no! There's no reason for that. I just, I, I just hoping maybe you could just stop looking at us because you're just you're giving us snake eyes. You're just staring at us and giving us snake eyes, and sometimes you stop your car. You just look. No, I don't own a car. I own a truck, but 
Well, um, I, we I can call, take care of this another time. I'm on a cash register. I call all trucks and cars. I'm trying I call to help car my trucks. customer. Because I'm a sensei. Can you come in and we can have a meeting about this in the office? Uh, no, I already t- turned you down for that date you're trying to get with me. I mean, I know I'm a sensei and everything. But you, you, I'm, you know, this is amazing because I'm married. Thank you. We're done with this Well, call. you shouldn't be f- flirting with me. Can you believe that? Married lady trying to hit on me. And it uh, looks like the vape store doesn't have a phone number. It's just like a vape store. Fucking hippies. So I guess let's do the GameStop. More cash free trades today. Here at GameStop, this is Tiffany. How can I help you? Hey there, Tiffany. Uh, this is Sensei Doug over at the Dollar Tree. How are okay. you doing today? Good. That's good to hear. I can tell you don't really want to do small talk. So I'll just get right to it. Uh, I was hoping... Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I was hoping, um, it, it just, you? it seems like every time you're coming to work and every time you're like out there, you're, you're just always looking at our store, just looking at us. Like, like, you like giving us snake eyes, like glaring at us or something. And I mean, I don't know if Excuse you have me? a pro like, what, like whenever you're outside or whenever you're coming to work or in your car or anything, you're, you're always looking at us. You're just looking at everyone in the store and we're just in here trying to do our job and, and you just keep looking at us. Is this a and, serious phone call? Oh, completely serious. And I mean, I know that the windows, they have that glare on them and we can't really see inside, but I know you're looking at us. You, Chris is having you prank phone call me. Chris? No. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking this serious. Oh, you should take it serious because I'm I'm tired of I'm it. Not. I'm just trying to be over here. I'm just trying to do my job, and you're over there looking mm-hmm. at me all day. Mm-hmm. You know, I should all have, day. Yeah. When I'm in at work. Yeah, yeah. You're you're supposed to be over there doing your job. Why don't you do your job instead of just looking at us? Mm-hmm. Tell uh, Chris, good job. But I'm actually helping a customer right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I know. Right. I, I I know. There's no customers there. You guys never have any customers. There's never any cars there. You you, just, you guys just sit around and look okay. at us. You guys are Sir, just I really s- gotta let you go. Stand over there and look at us until the until your company goes out of business. Oh my goodness! And I don't even know Chris. I don't know who the fuck Chris is. I'm, I'm this is Sensei Doug from the Dollar Tree. I'm just asking. Good, Good like, for you, just, Doug. Please stop looking at me. It's just a simple <laughs> request. All right. Well, I have to let you go. I have to finish helping this customer. So you're not going to stop looking at us? I mean, I, I'm asking mm-hmm. nicely. Please stop looking at us. I just I want to do my job in peace, and you're just always over there looking at me. Sure. Is is that a yes? Are you is that are you confirming sure. that you're going to stop looking at me? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's all I ask. Mm-hmm. All right. Ask Chris. He's not going to know anything about this. You'll see. This is a real call. Mm-hmm. You, you, you damn looker. <laughs> uh huh. All right. I gotta let you go. All right, hang up then. You can, uh, come in the store and uh, complain about it then. No, I okay. don't want to be looked at anymore by you guys, especially you. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. Whatever. I'll let you go. All Bye. right. Good. Fine. Bye. Ah, oh, look at that. H and R Block is closed today. They're right next to the GameStop. You'd think they'd be open every day in July. It's a busy time of the year. Next, we've got a check cashing store, which is one of those you know scammy type stores. They loan you money against... Thank you for calling. Check and go. Can you hold on just a second, please? Uh, well, I'm calling from the vape shop sorry, next door. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm really sorry about that. What can I help you with? Oh, it's no problem. This is Sensei Doug over at the vape store next door. Okay. And I, I was just wondering, do you think when you um, when you come into work and you know, you're know you walking by our windows, can you just stop looking at us? Who, what? Where are you from? Uh, the vape store next door to you. Louise. I never go. I never even go near you guys. Oh, we're right next door, and uh, like I know you don't come over, but like as you're walking in, you're just kind of looking over at us and just looking at us and giving us snake eyes. And I wouldn't do that because I'm a smoker. So <laughs> sorry, it's well, not. I don't think it's me. What's being a I smoker? I go outside and have my cigarettes out front, but I'm not staring at you, honey. And I do apologize. Oh well, if you that's should. That's how you feel. Well, no, it's definitely you. Like when you're out there smoking, you're just giving us snake eyes and and just glaring at us. And I don't know. When just... I smoke, I are you sure it's me, hon? Because when I smoke, I look the total opposite way towards a dollar store. What are you looking look at, at them for? 
What, what did they do? I stand out there and just look out the, out towards the left. But why are you looking at us? I don't even them? look towards your store. W- why don't you Excuse look? Excuse me? Do you not like us? Is that why you don't look at us? Are you giving I us- have no problems with you. I've never had any problems with you. As a matter of fact, the lady that runs over there, I have no problems with her either. Her and I get along very well. Like you're giving us the cold shoulder, like not looking at us? <laughs> no, that's not true. You know, I don't know. I don't know what to say to you, and if, I apologize. If, I really do apologize if that offends you, but well, I have if, never given you the snake eyes. I can't even see inside your store. I know, but but and when I walk you know up we're in the morning there. at nine o'clock in the morning, there's nobody at your store. Oh, we're in there. You just can't see in because we got the 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 special coating on the windows so that you can't look at us, at us as much. But you're still looking at us because you know we're in there. So you're just trying I to don't start. I know you're stuff. in there. Oh, well, I'm sure you do, because you just keep looking at us. Like, why would you glare at our no. windows for no reason? Well, I, I don't know. Maybe because I think your windows are gorgeous. I don't know what to say. Well, you, you said... But I don't you, appreciate you, a phone call. you accusing me and acting really arrogant towards me. You can just ask me and say something like that, and I'll say no problem, and I have no problems with it. You don't have to be so arrogant about well, it. Well, listen, if we have gorgeous windows, how come you're always looking over at Dollar Tree? Do you think there's a I'm more looking, gorgeous? I'm not, because when I have a cigarette, I look towards that area. I put my back, that's because I have to leave the door open so I can hear the phone ring. The only way I can hold the phone, the you, door are, open, the way it opens is with my your right left ear? shoulder. Excuse me? I said, are you deaf in, in, in your right ear? Is that why you have to look at Dollar Tree? No. It's because I have to hold the door open. I can't hold the door open with my left arm. Why well, don't you just put a brick? My right arm. Just I lean against it. On, sir, you know, if you have a problem, call and talk to my manager, okay? Oh, I will. Because I, okay. I, the, the well, manager. Okay, you have a nice day. Because I don't have time to sit here and listen to you criticize me. The manager's always looking I at me too, though. Very rude. I know. And the manager's always looking at me too, because I know he's not going to do anything. Well, you he, know. I, the, well, first of all, the manager in here is not a he; it's a she. I, well, it looks like a so he. So you must have the wrong store. She's just really ugly. No, That's what I'm saying. Both of them have really long hair. Yeah, but she guys have long hair. I have long hair. I'm a sensei. That, oh, I'm glad to hear that. Are, are you but telling me I look like... Both of them are female, so when you said, when he comes in, I think you're talking, you're, you've got the wrong store. Well, she looks like because a man. I don't look in your store. I have no interest in your store. I'm a smoker, so actually I really like your store, to be honest with you. So I have nothing against you whatsoever. Well, I don't know. Then why do you give us snake eyes? Why, why don't you smile when you look I at us? I don't give you snake eyes. I don't even look at you. I don't even look at your store. Well, why don't you look at us and smile once in a while and try and be friendly for once in your life? Because I've never seen you. When the manager comes out, if I'm not having a cigarette, the manager comes out of Dollar Tree. Say, hey, Karen, how you doing? I said, Hey, hon, how you doing? All oh, the time. Oh, so it's like a big old club against us, against the vape store. You all hate the vape people. Uh, yeah, okay. You, you think, no, we you don't think, hate the vape you, people. If I hated you, I actually used to vape, so I have nothing. Yeah, against why don't you, you vape whatsoever. anymore? Because you hate vaping. Now you have to smoke cigarettes. No, I've been smoking cigarettes probably longer than you've been born. Oh, that's that's not true. I'm I'm 67. How old are you? No, I'm 63. Okay, well, y- your math is off then. I was born before you. Okay. Well, I apologize. If you you're should. You're 67, I'm 63. But, you know, like, if if if, uh, if you didn't do it, you wouldn't apologize to me, so I know you're guilty. No, I'm just saying I'm sorry because you just seem really upset over something that I, I'm like, you know, I'm not guilty over nothing. I have no problems with anybody since I've been in this store for almost a year. Well, yeah, but you're you're um, you're cashing checks and, and you're charging like eighty five percent, you know, against those. That has nothing to loans. do with you. Well, I'm just you know like you're saying you haven't ever done well, anything vape, to anyone. Your but, vape store is ex- extremely expensive compared to other vape stores. Yeah, but we we also, so what? It's it's vaping. It's better than cigarettes. Cigarettes are are gross and well, disgusting. That has nothing and, to do with our loans. I know, but you're saying you've never done anything wrong to anyone, and, and you do stuff wrong to people all all day, all day long. You 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 give people loans so that they, ca- they can't pay back. You give people tobacco, which gives them cancer. Oh no, our tobacco is in a vape pen. That's totally safe. Uh, it's proven. You don't. Oh, know? Okay. Okay. But I noticed well, you didn't good. you didn't disagree Maybe with me help. about That'll the check thing. People. My check. Hey, I, we have a lot of people that come in here and cash checks and get along very well with us, and they love us. Yeah, right. They they don't love anyone that charges them forty percent interest. We don't charge forty percent interest. I bet you do. Where did you get that from? Oh, how much? No, do you, I bet you don't. How much is it? Bet you don't. You come over here and cash your payroll check. We charge two percent. Where do you get forty percent from? Yeah, but then you do those loans and stuff. Those loans for like a billion dollars. We don't do a billion dollars. That's ridiculous. Well, you know, I'm just exaggerating. We'll I'm just upset because you've been giving me snake eyes all here. week. Why don't you call Christina tomorrow and talk to Christina? She's my manager, and you have a lovely day. Uh, it's. <laughs> 
Uh, well, you know, when I first called her, she's like, can you please hold? I'm like, okay, sure. And I, I just waited on a hold. It was like five minutes. And I didn't play this part for you because it's super boring. It's just me listening to hold music and being irritated and stuff. So when I called back, that was my second time calling back. And she put me on hold again, probably because she was busy loaning someone money against their paycheck. That they'll never be able to pay back because they make bad financial choices like using a check and go. You know, I actually have no idea what a check and go is. I just assume it's one of those paycheck scam places. It's probably a totally legit business. Thank you for just calling. Hey, this is Emily. How can I help you? Oh, hey there, Emily. This is Sensei Doug over at the uh, the check and go store. Hi. You, you know, mm. over over in the parking lot. Yeah. O- over in the big parking lot where the real businesses are. Okay. Across the grass. Yeah. Hey, um, I was just wondering. It, it seems like whenever you're coming into your store. Like whenever you're you're driving in, you're always just like looking over here and just looking at us. Can can you just stop looking at us all the time? <laughs> okay, where? Okay, uh, I don't think I don't think you have the right number. Oh no, it's definitely you. You're you're the 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 salon place. It's just across the trees, over in that little bitty parking lot, the little puny one. And it's okay. like whenever you guys, uh, whenever you cut through Dollar General, and you're like you're just looking at us as you drive by. Okay. You know, by the check store, we're just a couple doors down. Yeah. And I was just hoping you could just kind of stop. Looking at you guys? Yeah, yeah. You're looking at us. You're glaring at us, giving us snake eyes. Uh, and I, I us. don't think I, it must be someone else that's doing that. Um. Well, you said <laughs> your name's Emily, right? Yeah. Because I get my hair styled there all the time, and I, I know who's who around that place. And it's definitely you. You're always like driving by here and just looking at us. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Well, it must be a misunderstanding. Um, I don't think so. I mean, like, why else would you look at us like that and just glare and like slow your car down and like you're pointing at your eyes and then pointing at us? No, that's not cool. Nope, not me. Promise. Well, uh, I don't know. Who else would it be? Do you have a, a I, I have no idea. Twin that works there or something? I'm sorry. What? Do you have a twin that works there or something? No. Okay, well, you know, we're all in this together. We're all just trying to do our job here. There's no reason for you to be like that. Okay, um, I'm with a client, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you go, okay? Which client? Which one? Okay, bye. Which one? Tell me which one. <sighs> all right, I think I'm about done. It looks like I have another cash store. And here, I'm going to do street view and look at their windows. Okay, right on their sign, title loans and cash advances. Well, I guess this is a totally different place because it's not a check cashing store. But that's about all I can read on their windows. And I've just heard really bad things about stores like this. Like I had a relative that worked at one for a while and she she had to quit because she felt so guilty about what she was doing to people because they would take out loans on their paycheck that they're going to get next week. And of course, it's got some crazy interest rate. So you're going to just be paying it back for months and months and probably forever. Stay away from cash stores, everyone. Never go into a cash store. Thank you for calling the cash store. My name is Jessica. Can I get your name, please? Oh, hey there, Jessica. This is Sensei Doug um, next door over at the Great Clips. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm fantastic. How are you? Oh, not too bad. Hanging in there, you know, just just ready to go home. How can I help you today? Well, um, I was just wondering, it, um, every time you, you come into work and, um, you know, you're going in the door, you're always just looking over here. You're always just looking at our windows and just looking at us. I am? Yeah, yeah, you. Um, I entered and through the back. I know, I know, but, you know, we're back there smoking. We have a door back there, too. And, you know, we're, um, we're loading boxes, and you're just always looking at us every time you come in the back. And then when you come out front, for whatever reason, you look in the windows. You're, um, you're always... I don't look in the windows. Uh-huh, you're always just looking at us. You're always just staring and glaring at us. And I know the windows are dark, and you can't see in them that good, but... We, we know you're, well, no, you're, my you're job entails that I have to look at everything around me, but no, I don't think I single-handedly look out or look into the Great Cliffs. And oh, so now it's your job to look around and look at everything. And Why do you have to look at everything for your job? Um, security issues. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't mean you have to glare at us, though. Like, does it say in the, the handbook that you have to glare at people and be intimidating? Mm, I don't honestly think that I'm glaring at anybody when I'm walking in and out to go to work. I feel like I'm just walking in and out of my business. But you're always just like staring at our door. Like once I was looking out the little peephole thing in the door and you were looking straight at the peephole like you knew I was there. 
You're glaring and at me. I couldn't have been looking in your peephole if I was walking into my own store. No, not looking in the peephole. You're looking at it. And I was looking through the peephole. I was watching you secretly. So your door and is a few doors down from mine, so I don't think I could have been looking. No, when you pull into the back, you know, the employee parking? And we've got the little the peephole door in the back where we get deliveries and stuff. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Um, well, if you didn't know what I was talking about, why would you be sorry? Well, unfortunately, I'm not sure where you're going with this because I don't think that what's happening is happening. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just asking you if you could just please stop looking at us all the time. Just, just stop. God. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, are you sorry that you look at us like that? Um, I don't look at you like that, unfortunately, so uh, no. So, so you're not even going to admit that you're looking at us all the time? No, I'm not. <sighs> it's just like a woman. Have a great day. All right. Bye. <laughs> okay, I think we're about done with these. I think I'm calling the last one right now, because I know you guys don't want my show to go on for two hours. We can't have that. Hello, thank you for calling Great Club. Sabrina speaking. How may I help you? Oh, hey there, Sabrina. This is Sensei Doug next door at the cash store. Oh, yeah. How are you doing today? Good. That's good to hear. Hey, I was just wondering, um, it just, it, like, it seems like every time you walk by, you're always uh, looking at us. You're always looking in the windows and staring at us and just, like, glaring. And I, I was just hoping, like, do you think you could stop doing that? Okay, that's funny. Oh, no, no, it's not that's funny. Cool. Like, we've been putting up with this forever from you guys, from you people over there. Just always that's looking funny. at us. No. And we're just trying to do our I job. Just st st stop looking. <laughs> he said we're looking at the window of the cash store, and then he says we're glaring. He says, yeah, we're forever, so it's a prank call. Okay, well, i got to get back to work, though. Okay, it's not a prank call. I'm at the <laughs> cash store next door. Just stop looking at us, okay? okay? Have a good day. Uh, I know all the ladies there. Bye. Okay, well, you don't know me, apparently, because oh, now she's calling me a lady. I see how it is. So I can't have a show where the last call is one where, uh, you know, they just laugh and then say, oh, you're a prank caller and hang up. Thank you for calling Check and Go. So Calls may be recorded one more call. for quality assurance purposes. One more call to this lady. To hear our store hours, press 1 to inquire about a new loan or one. Hey, it's Call Check and Go. This is Karen, and how may I help you today? Hey there, Karen. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Check and Go. Hi, how you doing? Not too bad. Um, we just uh, we received some complaints that uh, the employees there were looking at people. You know, that's the guy next door. He was very rude to me. What? He next? called me and says, "Yeah, let me let me just finish my customer. Can you give me one second? Okay. What are you doing to the customer? Uh, when I'm, I'm <laughs> giving them an application, or oh, signing okay. the contract. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. No problem at all. <laughs> just give I'll, me I'll one wait. second. Okay. All right, thanks. <laughs> she apparently does not remember my voice. It's been about 30 minutes since I called her, I think. It's enough to totally forget my voice, right? Man, I almost fucked that up, <laughs> asking what she's doing. I blame Carlito. I do that sort of thing because of him. Have a good day. Yep. All right, thank you. Hi. Oh, hey there. Okay. So, yeah, he calls me and he says, I have a complaint. I said, sure. I said, what can I help you with? And he says, I don't like your snake eyes. Whoa. Oh, my like goodness. Like I said, I'm... I said, I'm really sorry about that. I said, I, he says, well, I'm calling from the vape store next door. Do you have something against us? I said, no, because I'm a smoker, so I have nothing against you whatsoever. He says, well, I want you to stop looking in our store and coming up and looking in the window. I don't even look at their store. Yeah, why would you? He says, every morning you, I know. He's like, every time you get out of your car, you stare, you stare, you just walk up to your door and you stare at us. He says, you did that this morning. I said, hmm. I said, well, what time did I come in this morning? He said, you came in at quarter to ten like you normally do. I said, no, I That's came in at said. quarter to nine this morning. There was nobody at your store. There was no car around. I said, do you drive the little red car? He's like, um, yes, I do. I said, well, I didn't see it this morning. doesn't mean I wasn't here. I'm like, okay. So, so I said, well, every once in a while I'll go out. You know what I mean? And he says, he says, I said, but I don't even look at your store. I'll be with you one second, honey. I said, I don't even look at your store. I said, I looked down the other area. He says, oh, what? he says, what, are you deaf in your right ear? Is that why you look down the other area? I'm like, excuse me? Wow, that's that's just... So you weren't looking at him, though, were you? Were you looking at him? No. 
not at all. Oh, okay. Well, not at all. Because we, we didn't get a report from the, a vape store. Uh, we got a report from a Dollar Tree and a GameStop and a H&R Block and a Salon. But no, not, not nothing from the vape store. Yeah, this guy said he was from the vape store. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe he has did a he, complaint what, yet. Did he call you on a 513 number? Um, and Well, no, we didn't get a call from the vape store. We just got a call from all of the other stores in the shopping center that said you were looking at him. That's not true. The guy from the vape store oh, yeah, was the did. only one that called me, and, and he might have called in and complained about the other stores. Did you get all single people calling them? Uh, well, no. When, when the, the salon called us, they're, they're over in that puny parking lot, and it's like yeah. all of the girls from the salon were talking to us um, in unison on the phone. Okay. Their complaints and... Huh. Yeah. Okay. No, well, I, I never... I don't do that. Not okay. at all. Okay. Well, that's... As a matter of fact, the Dollar, the Dollar Tree manager was out there this morning when I came in. He said, hey, Karen, how you doing? I said, great. How you doing? Were you looking at him? No. Well, no. As I was walking in, he said, hey, Karen, I turned my head and said, hi, how you doing? Okay. But you didn't glare at him, though, right? Or, or, no. Not at all. Him, I would never do that. Give him snake eyes or... Why would I do that? That's, oh, I, do, I mean, I I've never had complaints about me on that. I don't know. Did you say it was Kevin at Dollar Tree? Kevin? No. Um, I thought he said his name was Kevin from the um, Express from the vape store. Oh, Kevin. Me. Kevin's at the vape store. I see. Okay. Wow. This is this is a lot of information here. I'm. I'll have to go through all this and figure out what's going on. But uh, just make sure you're not giving people snake eyes and not looking at everyone. I'm not. I don't. And, I would never do that. I'm like a happy-go-lucky person. All right, I, I'm sure you are. I'm, I'm. I'm. I don't mean to make an accusation or anything, um, but as long as we're talking about it, like you know, like we can see the the cameras there in the store, and you're always just you're always just looking at the cameras, like just looking at them. I am. Yeah, like when you're helping customers, you're like talking to them, but you're like you're looking at the camera and kind of. The camera's behind me, though, when I talk to the customers. Right, but we see the reflection out of the window, and you're, like, looking in the reflection so that you're looking directly at the camera. Yeah, I mean, we know that trick, and you're, you're just kind of giving us, you're, you're just kind of giving us snake eyes here in the corporate office? Well, I apologize. I don't mean to do that if I do. It's not meant to do that. Okay, all right. I just thought I'd mention it while I have you on the phone. All right, and I, okay, and I'm sorry. Well, if you weren't doing it, why would you be sorry? You sound like the same guy who just called me. <laughs> oh, no, no. I was, just, I was just commenting on what you said. Maybe you said that to him, too. Well, that I said to him, I said, well, I apologize if it, if it bothers you. Oh, why would you I apologize? Said, I, I don't it... mean to do that. And, you know, he said, well, it sounds like you're guilty. And I said, no, I'm not guilty. I'm apologizing. If I did it and I wasn't aware of doing it, I apologize for that. Well, okay, well, I, I was just, as long as I had you on the phone, it's not a big deal. It's just like you just kept giving us snake eyes on the camera and all the tapes. Hmm. We have AI that detects snake eyes and... Oh, and okay, software. well, I, I, like I said, if I do it, I don't mean to do it. Okay, all right. Okay, well, well that, that's sorry. good to hear. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know you're always sorry. It's always a sorry with you. You're, you're always apologizing okay. for the things that you do. Okay, you have a nice day. Okay. Okay, yeah, right, you too. I you. hope your shift goes okay, well. So thank, I just got a customer in my store. Being, oh, who, which one is it? A customer that's in my store? Yeah, is it a regular it's or one new? Of my cus- yeah, it's one of my re- regular customers. What's, what's their name? I can't give that out. Well, don't, don't, don't be... private gi- information. Don't, don't be giving them snake eyes, okay? Just, just smile. I pl- won't. I promise you. You pl- have a wonderful day. Smile and I'll ple- be calling pleasantly. You back to smile. See if you're actually from my corporate office. Oh, I am. D- don't don't try and doubt me, Stephen lady. Day. What? Is it Stephen Day? You said. Uh, in the Steve Dave from the corporate office. You, you, yeah, you'll okay, you'll see when it. you call me back. Hey, I'm looking on the Excuse security. Me? I'm looking on the security camera right now. You're giving that customer snake eyes. You stop it. I'm looking at my computer right now. Am I giving you snake eyes right now? <laughs> No, she just needs to make her payment. I'm holding her up. Okay, all right, all right. You, okay, so. well, I'll let you go. You stop holding her up. Just don't give her snake eyes anymore. I saw it on the camera. I saw it. I won't. Okay. All right. All right. Well, have a nice day, ma'am. I won't anymore. All right, you too. Yeah, Bye-bye. Anymore, because I know you've been doing it. All of a sudden, it's anymore, right? Oh, hey, yeah. Brad. How you doing? It's hey. Corbin Guy. Hey, Corbin Hey, uh, just to let you know, uh, first off, 
Uh, one of my siblings has left to Washington State and has moved down to Albany. So, um, she's okay. living in your neighborhood. Yes. My niece how, how do you know which neighborhood I'm in? So it's now your responsibility to take care of her and make sure she doesn't get into okay. any trouble. Well, I'll take care of her. Um, if something should arise, you need a call, I'll kick their ass. Uh, secondly, I just finished up with that ham radio show, you know, triangulating. Oh, that that woman with the microwaves was so awesome. You should have told her that, like, we are beaming microwaves at your house because we have a contract going on with China. And, and they are bouncing off the repeater towers in Mexico measuring depths of the soil because we're going to start drilling for geothermal energy in your neighborhood. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Um, but, uh, but aside from that, um, I do have a shortwave radio, which is one of those little hand crank Corbin guy. ones. Um, you know, yeah, so his voice smells like a, a minute long now. Like wind it up and like listen to like uh, Radio Moscow or something like that. Yep. Find out what Trump is doing. Yep. Um, it just so so long as your um, post box is still good. Hopefully it is. Yay! Hopefully it is. Oh no, it's, um, it's been gone five, for four, years. Five, four, one or something like that. Uh, I don't nope, know. Nope. Better repeat. Better repeat your post office box. Um, nah, that's okay. No, thank you. So um, other people can send you stuff. I don't have a I'm PO box. What are you talking about? All right, it's been a minute and a half. This voicemail goes on for another 30 seconds. Here's one immediately after for 40 seconds by Corbin Guy. I'll just go ahead and delete that one, too. Hey, Brad, I was just calling to tell you that I'm going to disconnect the phone call. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know. Holy shit, I'm really behind on voicemails again. Kind of looks like I need to do just a voicemail show soon, because everybody loves those. Hey, Brad. Uh, Mob7 here. Hey there. So I was listening to the show called Handy Talkie. And, uh, mm-hmm. by the way, kudos for harassing that guy for calling a Handy Talkie. That was gay. <laughs> yeah, All right. so gay. So, uh, two things. One. You know, I don't really have a problem with the name Handy Talkie. It's about as dumb as Walkie Talkie. Probably less dumb sounding. But whatever. I just wanted to give her a hard time. Sunshine had said on one of the previous shows, I was really excited. And yeah, I was really excited. So, thank you, Sunshine. I love you guys. Okay. Anyways... Thanks, Sunshine. Um, also, Mr. Managitis on the Discord says that everybody who leaves voicemails are autistic. Uh, you can go screw yourself, Managitis. All yeah, right. Yeah. So, back to business. Managitis, he's a known liar. Just don't listen to him. About on one of the voicemails, a um, caller had asked me about, you know, where did Steve Gate come from? So, I know where Steve Gate came from. And it did come from Mallrats, but it came from a guy who was auditioning for a position that they thought it was hilarious that he had two first names. His name was Steve Dave. So he didn't get the position, but as a shout-out, they loved his name and thought it was so damn funny to actually put that line in the movie. Tell him, Steve Dave. So there you go. That's the origin of pissed. Steve Dave. So now you know. Oh. All right. Okay. Here we go. Oh, my boy! Oh, my boy! There we go. Well, I hope they paid the guy for stealing his name. I mean, not that I should talk. I haven't paid anyone, and I'm using the name all the time. Hey Brad, it's Push Slap. I had to listen to your show, Denial of Law Service. Great show. Man, I'll see you every week, man. You're consistent. It's always good. But if you like, <laughs> I good, think for the past two weeks, I have only gotten one show done each week. I mean, one plus a hobo soda or two. So you are totally wrong. I've been sucking lately. Don't tell me I'm doing okay. I'll, I'll get comfortable, you know, doing it like this. Yeah. Hey Brad. It's Brad. Oh, hey, Brad. Hey, Brad. Yeah, if you remember, a few weeks back, I got put on unpaid suspension from uh, producing the show uh, because I booked the recently deceased Chris Cornell. Yeah, yeah, that was a mess. Uh, Thanks (laughs) for that. Yeah, my bad. Anyway, as I'm sure you know... It's okay. uh, I blamed it on the sponsor, so it's fine. from Lincoln Park actually performed at Chris's funeral. Oh, nice. Uh, Apparently, the two of them were BFFs. Don't don't tell me you're going to get hit. Holy shit. July the 20th, 2017. I've actually booked Chester... To be on the Snowplow show tomorrow, Whoa. Uh, Friday, July the 21st. You guys. So, uh, we're going to make some room in the schedule for the guests. Blink-182 uh, guy. You guy. about Chris. Because I totally know all the member names in Blink-182. It was for me to book the dead guy. So, I'll uh, be looking forward to that. Uh, right. I'll go ahead and move some stuff around. You're totally redeeming yourself after that whole Chris Cornell kerfluffle. Uh, and we'll get Chester on tomorrow. All right. Bye. Great. Thanks, Brad. Best producer ever. I thought he really fucked up last time, but now he's making it right, just like a good producer should. I'm not a hobo, but I do like Four Loco, so I don't throw my Four Loco cans out the window. All right. His song that he's working on, it's getting longer. He almost has a whole verse done now. 
It's getting good. I wonder what's going to happen next. Hey, Roy. In episode 382, a lot of people sent voicemails trying to tell you the origin of the calls coming from inside yeah, the house. Yeah, like they know anything. I think it goes all the way back further to the 1943 radio thriller called Sorry, Wrong Number, written by Lucille Fletcher, oh, yeah. starring Agnes Moorhead. It was Her, of course. critically acclaimed and okay. very good. Give it a chance. Thanks. So I guess everyone's homework assignment for this week is to listen to the 1943 radio thriller called Sorry, Wrong Number, written by Lucille Fletcher, starring Magnus Moorhead. I'm sure somebody in the comments is going to find that show and put a link to it so you can all listen to it, and we'll find out if this guy is full of crap. Uh, yeah. On the torrent page, the 2014 media pack says it's the most recent version, but it's not. What? So can you fix that? Isn't the 2015 also, the most recent? um... Can you, like, use magnets, too? Because, like, no one uses torrent files. Magnets? All right, bye. And I'm looking at the torrent page right now, and the most recent one is 2015, located at phonelosers.com slash torrent. If you scroll down, there's, like, a big heading that says old torrents that may or may not still be working. And the 2014 one is down there. I just left it in there in case people were still seeding it, but the most recent one is definitely 2015... It's up there on the top, phonelosers.com slash torrent. And 2015, that's good enough. We don't even need a new one anymore, do we? I basically just do the same thing over and over forever. Just listen to 2014. It'll be like you're listening to the latest episodes. Hey, Brad, it's J-Man here. Um, I wanted to answer the question, which probably has already been answered about a million times. Probably. Is how did the police not figure out, or how did they figure out the call was coming inside the house? Yeah, what the hell? Didn't the bad guy pick up another Explain extension? this to me. I don't know much well, about phones. The answer is they actually had two lines. <gasps> and back then, Holy you could shit. have two different lines in the same home. And so he was essentially calling from a different phone number. Um, and I think it was I don't the know. business line of the father who was on vacation or whatever. Did they have business lines in the 70s in your home? I mean, I know it's possible, of course, but did people really do that? People didn't work from home. That's the crazy. Or whatever it was. And they were, he were up, he was upstairs using the office phone, the business line. Hmm. And that's how they figured it out. Okay. 1979 I guess. technology for you. So yeah. like this is explained in the movie. If I watch the movie, this is all in there. Were they just being super futuristic, having two lines in their Good house? Good one. Bye. All right. Bye. Thanks for the answer. I'm sure you're right. I, I know nothing about this movie. I think people just thought that telephones were magical back then, and that's why the calls were coming from inside the house. Because phones are magical. That's the real reason. What's up, b Rad? You know what? You're a fucking idiot, but you're a funny fucking idiot. Have ah, a good one. Later. Thanks. That call came from New Mexico, and I'm going to assume it was probably from Roy, New Mexico, and he's probably just sick of me giving his town a bad name, like I always do. Okay, last voicemail. Hey, Brad. This is Gene. Uh... The phrase, the phone call is coming from inside the house from a 1974 movie called Silent Night, Evil Night, a.k.a. Black Christmas, starring what? John Saxon and Margot Kidder. Really? What? Okay, thanks, bye. Oh, okay, thanks for the help on that. It looks like everybody else was wrong. So holy shit, it's getting late. I need to end the voicemails right now so I can try and edit this show together and maybe get it released today. So I am leaving. Thanks for listening to the show, everyone. Thank you, Hendrick G., for sponsoring today's show. And I promise you guys, I'm going to have a second show this week. I know I've said that the last two weeks, but last week I just released an old episode and tried to pass that off as a new one. I was hoping you guys wouldn't notice. This week, though, I'm going to make amends, just like Brad the producer is trying to do by, you know, getting that other, uh, what's his name, Lincoln Park guy. I thought it was the Blink-182 guy that died. I mean, same thing, right? Isn't that the same band? Yeah, anyway, though, I'm going to try and make amends. I'm going to try and fix things this week, just like Brad the producer. So I'm leaving now. I've got to go edit this show now and try and get it posted today. And if you're not hearing this on Monday, then you know I suck. I'm sorry. I suck. Uh, no, I don't go to the go-cup places, and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go-cups out the window, because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? I'm a diabetic, and I drink water. I don't have a cup. Bottled water is what I do. Well, you can't throw the bottles out the window. I don't throw the bottles, no. I don't go to the go-cup places, and I don't go out for coffee. 
and I don't throw the go cups out the window because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? Do you know who lives next to me? Andy Anderson. Oh shit. He just retired as the deputy chief of police for the city of Phoenix. I'm gonna give him this phone number and ask. I think you have ADD. No, I don't drink coffee, I don't even have a cup I drink bottled water so you need to back your facts up I'm a diabetic, need to watch my sugar count Coffee's not a beverage I drink when I'm driving about I never drop litter in my whole damn life If you see me sat in Starbucks, I'm just here to use the Wi-Fi I didn't see no secret camera hidden in the cacti Andy Anderson is gonna fuck you up, wise guy I don't drink coffee, it's not my drink of choice I order spring water when I'm drinking with the boys Caffeine is mean to me, there's nothing to enjoy what do you say your name was again? Void? I'm recording this call on my answering machine I assure you that it's working though you didn't hear a beep I'm gonna take this tape and fucking march it down the street Knock on Andy's door and get a hair by the chief of Phoenix please No, I don't go to the go-cup places And I don't go out to the park And I don't throw the go-cup out the window Because I don't have any You don't have any windows? I'm a diabetic and I drink water I don't have a cup Bottled water is what I do. Well, you can't throw the bottles out the window. I don't throw the bottles, no. I don't go to the go-cup places, and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go-cups out the window, because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? No. I don't go to the go-cup places, and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go-cups out the window, because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? I'm a diabetic, and I drink water. I don't have a cup. Bottled water is what I do. Well, you can't throw the bottles out the window. I don't throw the bottles, no. I don't go to the go-cup places, and I don't go out for coffee. And I don't throw the go-cups out the window, because I don't have any. You don't have any windows? Do you know who lives next to me? Andy Anderson. Oh, shit. He just retired as the deputy chief of police for the city of Phoenix. I'm going to give him this phone number and ask. I think you have ADD. I bet, you're the, I bet you're the most annoying neighbor ever, like every little thing that happens to you. I'm going to get the deputy. He lives next door to me. We're good friends. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I don't go to the places diabetic and I drink water. Yeah. We've got our cacti is on you. That's our new slogan. I still don't understand why it's my house in particular.